important because to show proper functionality without adequate data mm. it is not possible to demonstrate right. so if you are showing a list of uh, customers or a list of patients or something just having one patient is not adequate mm. you must have a reasonable number to show that it, it meets the need because uh, uh, now even the doctors you have different type of doctors doctor dealing with uh, operations and uh, general uh, pediatrics or whatever so mm. uh, the all type of cases has been looked at and tested must be uh, visible mm. now when you are testing for example if you take a payroll uh, case if the OT is not there whether the program works or in the OT is this amount whether it works if it exceeds this range what happens mm. you must have control so you have validation checks if it exceeds the 8 hour allowed time what, what type of message it will give or whether it crashes or mm. all those things has to be thought and tested right. and then you have to also document so that the examiners are convinced that you have done it. Right. No point doing it and not showing because then the examiners think you have not thought about it. Mm. So, whatever you do, it is important to document and uh, include in the documentation. So, when they show, show their system to the examiners, they have to make sure that they have tested in advance and uh, they, they can uh, organize their time to show the demonstration system effectively. If they try to uh, develop, uh, develop the data at the evaluation time, they waste their time. Yeah. So, they must make sure that they have created their proper test data well in advance and tested by themselves before they come to the evaluation stage. Yeah, that, that, that is perfectly correct. Yeah. Uh, so, that uh, uh, they show certain things as documentation form and then if the examiner want to know and tell show me by adding a new record then doing it is ok, yeah. but then at the demonstration if you show this is you add this and this shows a error message, mm. then you are wasting for an unimportant thing. Now, validating a login username password mm. is a standard thing, yeah. for implementing it is a complex, it is true, but you show those in the documentation. Mm. If the examiner wants, he can ask, spend some time on that, but most examiners not interested in that way. But if the documentation does not show that, he may still ask that question. Right. So, you must make sure what to what is more important to show. So, it is more important to show that if somebody unauthorized trying to access, he does not see that part, but he sees something else mm. is more useful than showing some sort of validation. So, you need to plan and show uh, appropriate things. Right. And then when documenting, you have to use the appropriate uh, database documentation, the system documentation with use case diagrams and sequence diagrams and various things you have to design to suit your own application. And most applications will have some sort of menu uh, interfaces to interact with it. So, you have to create some forms, you have to enter data. So, when you enter data, you enter uh, it uh, in a way that it gives some sort of meaning so that here. Uh, example of a product where you enter the data of the product, you have a product description as well as the quantity price, but also some picture of the product. So, that uh, the user when you interact, you know the information you are dealing with. So, student information system when you uh, retrieve some student data, if you see the photo address all the things in one screen, then the uh, that is the information one would like to uh, see. Hmm. So, uh, you need to map and implement it accordingly. So, uh, there are tools to generate forms easily, uh, link with the databases easily. So, you must use those things. You do not have to write code for those. You mm. make use of the tools and do it, but then you do it in a way that all useful information are put together. Now, physically product data may be in one table, uh, order details in another. Mm. The, price details in another, but then all are linked and shown in this uh, uh, screen. So, you have various buttons, uh, uh, drag down menus. So, the, two, the things you learn, you apply it in an effective way. Mm. And then uh, after you put the data, the same data you can use it in many different ways. So, that is one of the important things you, are, you because the benefit of the 
the computerized system is the same data you look at as a list or look at by grouping by some condition mm. and so forth. So, in the hospital system, you can sort and give a list of these are my uh, list of uh, ward rooms or then you can give the uh, patient list with the what which ward is in a, another report mm. uh, or then you can give a summary saying that this doctor has so many patients in this ward and things like that. Uh, or, uh, uh, for the doctor, you may have some other report indicating uh, the summary of how many he has looked at during this period and things mm -hmm. like that. So, so, using various tables, the same data you present it in different ways. Mm -hmm. So, each report will take some time, but each report will add value to the complexity of your project. So, it is something that lot of candidates neglect is uh, they do not focus on the end product a lot. Mm. The, because th that is what the management want at the end. Mm. Just putting data of patients and just putting doctor's names mm. and viewing as an individual record is just one part, but more value for the management if he has appropriate reports that will uh, summarize and show. So, these reports most of the time it is in table form, but it can be in some graphical representation mm. as well because a lot of the things you use charts to show the trend and various things. Mm -hmm. So, uh, those aspects must be looked into and uh, implement accordingly. Right.